Hello, I'm Natalie Shepard and this is your CBS 58 quick cast. November has started on a high note with those temperatures out there. CBS 58's Drew Burgoyne has more on the weather. 70s not bad, Drew. Not bad at all. 72 degrees today, uh, about four degrees or so off the uh, record high. And by the way, if you're wondering how many 70s we typically get throughout the month of November, just one. And so we hit that today. Last November, we didn't even have a single 70 degree reading. So I thought let's talk the car wash forecast right for your Wednesday 9 a.m. 54 mid 60s at noon. Uh, most spots are going to be uh, very close to 70 degrees. Now late afternoon that wind will be shifting off the water a little bit. So temperatures could come down uh, lakeside, but all in all looking beautiful for your Wednesday. And that was for me because you know I always need a car wash. All right, Drew, thank you so much. Well, with early voting in full swing and just one week left until Election Day, here are some do's and don'ts for the polls. A do, bring your Wisconsin's driver's license, passport, or military ID. Don't wear political gear or take photos while filling out your ballot. And if you haven't already, you can still register to vote in person now through Election Day, November 8th. And as many voters get to the polls this midterm election, so do observers. Poll workers are preparing for an increase this year with Wisconsin's divisive political climate. To ensure voter safety, poll workers are trained to handle any disruptions. Workers in Milwaukee County say they're optimistic this election cycle will go smoothly. Well, since the pandemic, auto body and repair shops have been swamped. The backlog has caused repair times to go up. The shop owners are saying some cars have been waiting for weeks, even months to get repairs done. The several shops in Milwaukee attribute the backlog to three things, labor shortages, a difficulty in ordering car parts and reckless driving. Well, after months of negotiations, billionaire Elon Musk has taken over Twitter and the platform could see some major changes. Musk has already cut a number of high ranking Twitter managers and says he is considering charging a monthly subscription cost for verified accounts. Experts say there are still some lingering questions about how Musk will address censorship and free speech on the platform. Well, the city of Milwaukee has its 2022 Christmas tree picked out and chopped down. The tree once sat in the front lawn of Irwin Bames house. He planted it there nearly 30 years ago. Bames says he hopes the community likes it just as much as he did. You can see the 31 foot Colorado blue spruce lit up for Christmas in the Deer District come November 18th. And all aboard the CBS 58 Hometowns Tour, anchor Amanda Porterfield visited picturesque Lake Geneva today and explored the area by water and bike. Amanda toured the lake on the Lake Geneva Cruise Line and tested an e-bike from Avant Cycle Cafe. You can find more sights and sounds from her and the visit on our website and our social media pages, as well as coming up tonight on the news at 9 and 10. And a busy day in the NFL. The trade deadline has come and gone. The NFC North division was active, but not the Green Bay Packers. No trades for them. Coming up tonight on the CBS 58 News at 9 and 10. Next steps for the new concert venues in Deer District and how folks around the U.S. are showing their support after the Waukesha Christmas Parade trial. We'll see you later tonight, but for now, that's your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Natalie Shepard. Thank you so much for watching.